Okay guys, here's my aesthetic clinician tip of the day. Don't inject anybody. Ha ha ha, I'm only kidding. Ask yourself this question before you pick up a needle, before you inject any patient's face, ask yourself this one question. Will this treatment psychologically benefit their well-being? If you do that, you're keeping yourself right and you're keeping your patient safe, okay? Recognise the differences between a Karen and a Ken, and I mean that in the most nicest way. Run a BDD assessment, and you don't need to be a psychologist to do this, but if you do do the psychology and aesthetics course, brilliant, even better. Because everything that we do, we are doing to psychologically benefit that patient, because this isn't medical, this isn't surgical, this is non-surgical, it's optional, so they are doing it so they can feel better. Be results focused and not price focused. What do I mean by that? Don't just put something in somewhere just because a patient tells you. Really assess their face and give them the best results. I told someone today that I didn't know the answer to their question because I didn't know it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to pretend I'm something I'm not. But I told them, give me a couple of weeks and I'll find the answer for you and I'll come back and I'll find a clinician that is competent enough to, to treat you. The one area that I don't treat, fill in the nose, fill it in the gobella. And I'm okay with that because I like to sleep well at night, but I'll go and find someone that will and I'll research and I'll make sure my patient's safe in their hands. So don't be scared to say no. I also said to someone today, give me a year and I'll give you results. And the reason why I said that is because I'm realistic, because I'm not going to put nine mil in the face in one session. I'm not going to do Botox and dermal fillers in one session or any other treatments. I need time. And if they're looking for non-surgical, then... We've got a lot of work to do, politely, but it's going to take us some time because this is, I'm not a surgeon. So don't be scared to say who you are, what you do, what you can and what you cannot do. And that's my tip for today. I'll see you soon.